So there are different kind of activity types. Let's say I'll give you an example in building construction projects. There is task dependent activity. Uh, the first thing task dependent activity is going to depend uh, on the logic of your project. The first thing, let's say this is foundation and uh, this is going to depend on excavation and framing is going to depend on foundation. Roofing is going to depend on framing. Okay, that is task dependent. The activity which is going to depend on the other task as well. You got it? task dependent activity which is going to depend on other tasks there is a logic uh, retained like uh, you know uh, other like predecessor and successor logic will be there the first thing the second important thing these activities are going to follow calendar specific calendar which would be called global calendar like they are going to share their calendar like framing is also going to follow the same calendar. Foundation is also going to follow the same calendar. Excavation is also going to follow the same calendar. So that is why we call these such kind of activities task dependent activities. That's the definition of this activity. By default, whenever we are going to develop any activity in Primavera P6, that would be task dependent activities by default. In job interviews, they are going to ask you that if you are working in Primavera P6, you should know that by default, what kind of relationship is there? Finish to start. By default, what kind of activity will be developed? Task dependent. Okay. So that is, and uh, the resource dependent activities. The resource dependent activities are the activities which are not following global calendar. These activities are not depending on any other activities. These activities actually depending on because I will just write here activity. We defined activity. We have assigned that activity a certain resource. Now this resource availability is not as per the project schedule. Let's say this resource is shared resource. This resource is also working on another activity like another project B. Okay. So let's say this resource is available three days of week on this uh, project and three days a week on this project. So this activity is going to follow this resource availability. Our Primavera P6 is actually when our activities are task dependent. Our Primavera P6 project scheduling algorithm is going to work as per global calendar. Okay. In our global calendar, we had refined that our Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay. So Primavera P6 is going to consider all those working days and then going to conclude finish uh, start date and finish date simple but when it comes to resource dependent activities our primavera p6 is not going to consider global calendar primavera p6 is going to consider our resource calendar that resource which is deployed on that certain activity that on this activity this is not project our project part okay so primavera p6 is going to consider the week of 3 days let's say if I have defined that my this activity is going to be completed in 10 days. So my one week is three days because this resource is available for three days only. So one week is equal to three days. Okay. So it doesn't matter that my project is going to this activity is going to start from 1st January to the 12th of January. Why? Because there is Saturday is off. That's why. So now if there is resource dependent activity and that certain resource is going to be available only for three days so that you can understand that Primavera P6 is going to define from first June, first week, three days, another week, three days, another week, three days, and let's say 22 January, because there are three weeks involved, 10 days, three months, right? How to distribute, do you, do you understand how resource dependent is going to? So I will help you to understand Whenever you are going to develop any resource and the task dependent activities are not, let's say this is curing uh, concrete. Okay. So this is my single resource over here. Okay. Steel fixer. Steel fixer is not uh, available on my project all the time. So what I need to do. So first of all, I have to go to the resources. This steel fixer 337. Okay. 337. This one. So first of all, I have to make my this activity the first step to convert any task dependent into the resource dependent. To convert, the first step is go to the general activity type and make it resource dependent. The first step. Second step, go to the resources main window and uh, still fix that certain resource on which that activity is going to depend. Simple. Okay. 
So try to make it steel fixer and uh, details and create personal calendar. That is the second step. Now you have to make customization as it is like uh, this is not available for Thursday. This is not available for Friday and this is not available for Saturday as well. Simple. Only available for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And okay. And now you can see that 145. See, before it was 125 because you know that I have given same days. Now it is going to 145 because why? This activity is not going to follow the global calendar, I have made it resource dependent and I have created that resource uh, calendar as well. 145, if I change something like, okay, uh, you know, if I want to change anything, like I will share here, enterprise calendars, this time resource calendars, where is my steel fixer? Here I can find that calendar, this one. See, modify, I want work week, I need, okay, Wednesday is also off. See the change, okay. Four zero four, right? This is the real example I'm giving you. Four zero five, say sorry. No, it will take that much time. Before one forty five was not correct even, but I was thinking maybe it has changed. But four zero four days it will require to complete that work because my week is only two days now. So if I change again. Go into the enterprise, same way, calendar. And I can find here within this one, modify. And I can make work week, okay, 10. Okay, this is available for all the days. Available 10 days, only Saturday, Sunday off. Okay, close, schedule. 160, now it's only one day. That's why 163 days. So these kind of resource dependent activities always will be required on kind of uh, projects like maintenance kind of projects where our major, where our project is resource driven, not plan driven. Okay. That's just right there. This is important to understand. Okay. Then uh, our, we have level of effort, level of effort activities. Definition of level of effort, site supervision or quality control or something like which is not directly relevant to our project. Like I will make you understand level of effort activities, uh, why we need to develop such kind of activities because when our primary P6 is going to calculate CPM, the major target. So it is going to take, you know, that longest dependent activities and it is going to calculate CPM longest dependent activities series. Longest CPM definition is longest dependent activity series and that would be minimum project duration to complete project. Okay, minimum time, which will help you to understand that within this time I can deliver my project. All other routes will take extra time, right? So this is CPM. So when my Primavera P6 is going to calculate this P CPM, so uh, if I have my client is has instructed me that you should incorporate other plans in your Primavera P6 like project management support team, like quality control team. These are the secondary things. These are not the direct our project tasks. These are the supervisionary tasks. So maybe our Primavera P6 get mistake will also include those tasks into CPM and CPM calculation will be malfunctioned. So to avoid from such kind of practices, Primavera P6 has defined that such kind of supervisionary or indirect or supportive activities like de de deployment of our project management team or quality control audit, we need to define them separate kind of activities. And such activities would be called level of effort. I will give you an example how to develop them. Let's say this one. And here we are. My project manager is going to, or my client is going to say that you have to write here quality assurance, quality control. Let's say this team should be there now. In my project schedule, everything should be indicated over here. Okay, no problem. Our project management team should be there. Project management team is deployed on our project. Okay. The first thing I have to go and I have to make activity level of effort. The first thing to change it. Once I'm going to change it, you can observe here, this is going to change something like that. And how much time it is going to be on my project? 
quality assurance and quality control. How much time? It depends na, on my project, how much time I need project management team. So let's say my these two teams are going to be implemented or deployed on my project till the end of my project. So I have to connect these level of efforts with my, I, first of all, I have to see that where is my, let's see, where is my last activity on CPM? Where is last activity? Where is last activity? Not sequence wise, but critical path method wise, right? Red, red color, the last activity. See, this is document. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, because I need to be done this activity detailed resource uh, relationships, assign here, I can find document here, see, and make finish to finish relationships and uh, reschedule it.